Fala rapaziada, tudo certo? Guys, tá todo mundo muito feliz? Eu tô feliz! Todo mundo muito ansioso, né? Principalmente. Major de CSGO tá chegando, começa agora no próximo dia 9. Faltam poucos dias. E nesse Major teremos a presença de três equipes brasileiras, né? Fúria, MBR, a nossa querida Imperial, que conseguiu a vaguinha aí suada. O time da Imperial, inclusive, que tem ali o Fer, o FNX e o Fallen, que já foram campeões de Major em 2016, né? Eles, junto do Coldzera e do Taco, na época ganharam os dois majors daquele ano Mas nesse vídeo eu tô aqui pra mostrar pra vocês A primeira classificação brasileira para um major Classificação que aconteceu há sete anos atrás, em 2015 e Nesse time, não tinha o FNX Não tinha o Fallen e o Fer Junto do Boltz, que tá agora na Imperial Do Ixilega e do ZQK Levaram o Brasil para um major de CSGO pela primeira vez na história e, Rapaziada, na época foi muito emocionante Primeiro que eles foram pro major, viraram Legends Depois o time virou Luminosity Jogou mais um Major E aí, na terceira tentativa No terceiro Major Eles foram campeões Se não fosse essa primeira classificação É bem provável Que todo o resto Não tivesse acontecido Até porque A história dessa classificação Rapaziada Não foi fácil Estamos falando de 2015 Eles não estavam Em uma org gigantesca A estrutura Não era a mesma de hoje Pelo contrário Mano, era uma estrutura muito precária. Eles não tinham dinheiro para ir para Polônia jogar o classificatório. Equipes adversárias o ajudaram, se não estou enganado, na época a Finetic. A comunidade se movimentou para que eles pudessem ir até lá. Então, além de tudo, tinha uma pressão gigantesca. Mas eles foram, conseguiram a classificação e foi aí que o mundo ouviu falar pela primeira vez de Gabriel Toledo, Fallen, Ricardo Pras, Boltz, Fernando Alvarenga, Fer, Caio Fonseca, ZQK e Lucas Benedito Estilega. No vídeo de hoje eu estarei mostrando para vocês a emocionante primeira classificação classificação brasileira no Major de CSGO. Se você curte esse tipo de conteúdo, deixa o like no vídeo, se inscreva no canal. Tenho o sonho de bater um milhão de inscritos. Conto com o apoio de vocês. Então vem comigo. 2022, ano de Copa. Eu acredito que o Brasil trará o Hexa. Vou falar em Hexa. Esse mês, utilizando o cupom Hexa no CSGO.net, você concorre a 15 facas. Além, é claro, de ganhar 40% de bônus. Ou seja, você já começa profitando o melhor site de abertura de caixas do mundo. CSGO.net, cupom Hexa, link do site e do formulário para quem utilizou o cupom na descrição. Insane.gg, o melhor site para você multiplicar as suas skins. Para o primeiro depósito, utilize o cupom CACHORRO1337 e ganhe 100% de bônus. Para mais depósitos, cupom DOG30, 30% de bônus. O Rian tem o inventário mais caro do Brasil. A vai... Não que eles não sejam hoje, mas assim, a mirinha jovem pegava o Fer. Dá um exemplo aqui, o Fer já é muito bom hoje. Muito bom. E ele tem 30 anos. Nesse vídeo vocês irão ver a mirinha dele com 23. Pegava, mano. <risos> pegava. O que não tinha de experiência, tinha de agilidade. E ó, adianto. Eles amassaram na época o time da Dignitas, que era um time bom. Dinamarquês. Eles amassaram. Assim, a partida da classificação foi humilhante, mano. Humilhante. O Falenzão ficou 21 barras. O que os caras não tinham de experiência, eles tinham de mirinha jovem. Mishu with one, gets a second as well. All of a sudden now ZQK dropped into a very sticky situation. He's been pushed up, pressured by Mishu. And now Bolts, cute puppy in picture. Gonna be trying to do something he can do nothing. Fernan gets it, he's gonna rush in. Playing it delicately. He just needs that bomb. It's one, it's one, it's one, it's one. It's one. And that, <laughs> that gasp you here. It's one, he's gonna get it. That's all he's gonna bomb plan. Three members trained on him, the bomb plant does come in. It is going to be Bolts that gets it down, Razor. 
Bomb plant just below him, so it's possible, but he just got dinked, and that's going to keep him down for Choco. Holding steady, just Mishu left standing. Can he be the hero this team requires? He yeah, really was. Come around the corner, but for just get himself the one that will be clear now. Yeah, Kaboom picking up another one. All of a sudden, just two T's remain red. And Mishu, the top and bottom fraggers. Let's see if Red can step up to the plate. At the moment, it doesn't seem to be the case. He does connect finally, but it's only of his life. And Mishu falls as is replied. Time is ticking though, and suddenly it's a two on one for Inchok here. Yeah, Trip to pass. We need to be very cautious. Steel though is in position, perfect position as Inchok try. Pop that door quickly, tries to come around, managed to get one down. Stop Hyper's coming in, he's trying to find the bomb in the smoke, he will get the bomb plant down, that's exactly what they needed, that will give them the money required. Lands the orb, he's got the backup of the M4, so he knows he could be aggressive. Steel manages to take down Hyper, and that will be a clean, clean round. Yeah, aggressive, for more fun. first going, yeah, straight up there, pushing up. It's going to be MNK walking straight into the crosshairs. First, picking up. Yeah, nice play from Bolt. He's just going to be holding steady. The bomb is going to be He just doesn't want to see it taken away from him, but it's all going horribly wrong. Too much of it. He's just going to go. Does actually take down Zidkin. Okay, that's the old now down now. His hands, but look at this. Steel tries something. It's going to be all on to Furland's shoulders. He can't. Peeking around. Does manage to land the one. Gets the second as well. And that is game for Kaboom. Very much done. Exactly what they needed. Crash. It's not a rotate though. They haven't fallen for this one. Kaboom holding steady. Now they're going to rotate. It's going to be a little late because you can already see it's going to be Dignitas just piling on towards that site. They're surely going to get the plant in, but Fur is trying his best to hold them down. Has to go for the reload. That's going to give time for AZ to get the shot in in the pit. Everybody else covering around quad. One guy about to run around the palms as well. Warner's going to push on in there. Pimp gets the tax down on him, but not the frag. And Steel will close that one out with the head. Nico holding steady. They know they've got to go for the defuse. His timer is running low. There's a defuse kill on Steel. Siege instead. And all of a sudden, 18 seconds the T side are going to be trying to get that bomb down and successfully. As finally ZQK and Bolt get there to try and bolt this one back together. You can see 3v3 is just holding ready for that push from CT. It's going to be ZQK to walk into his crosshair. Surely it's going to be a kill, it is. But Bolt in the meantime has equalized. And they are pushing up towards the site again. Oh my god, Kaboom! What just happened? They pick it up. In the hand steal with the FAMAS as well. Dignitas already on site. Are they going to go for a fast plant here while this is all happening? Now they know the steel's in the back corner. This should be a clean round. And Kaboom will just different as he did in the first time we saw them on this map. And here comes a real brute force attempt. Oh, has picked up one. They're looking for more. Trying to flash his way out. He's realized he's in trouble. Just throwing fire onto the, his own feet, hoping to catch <laughs> easy to defend this retake. Bomb plant down. They've got time ticking away. They have to make their move, and they're going to get Fetish down. Nico is going to be forced to back away from Banana, but he's got a good position to cover off his cross if he peaks just at the right time. They smoke him out. They're going to keep him away. That's going to force him to back away, but they're not looking at his position. Bolt pushes on through. ZQK is there. <laughs> we were talking, yeah, we were talking just how, how many people have butchered that name, and I'm, yeah. now, I'm now one of them. There we go. That's the man himself going down. Another one is Kabuma. Surely just going to be rattling in the frags. Two remain. It's Fetish and Pimp. We'll see how long they can last. Obviously, no armor pimp kill in there. That's going to buy time for them. Fetish is trying to delay. He knew he'd got towards Fur. And I don't know if Fur is going to check this one. Surely he does. He does and takes Fetish down. And now, snatching that weapon away from him. He doesn't catch him. It doesn't. And soon here comes the T side. They should be falling. They don't. Bolt in the meantime has burnt the toes of Kate. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so it is going to be the last one. <laughs> Rip. Forced away from Spools thanks to the smoke from the Dignitas side and the steel. Not so much though, he's been using this position so much and so well. Not going to quite get the second, it's actually Nico. It was Keith Yabu. And now uh, we do see Equalize again. Suddenly, Fallen springs to life. It's all on Nico. He goes down as well. Big cheer. Got himself into a good position. They're going to get spotted as they come around now. I'm pretty sure Ferg managed to spot them. Tries to rattle the shots through. ZQK also just tucked himself around. Give them that one. It's like it's going to be a Ooh. tough, tight spot for Fur. Actually, he does. His teammate, who pretty short lived, did get taken down. You go following suit. All on to easy now. And he's surely going to meet a similar phase. Getting hunted down by Fallen, but he takes him with him. Nice play with the P250. Done, they've done a relatively good job in taking two CTs away with this. They didn't invest anything into this round. We're going to see another one is plenty to play with. Here comes the T side for first to draw blood. Steel doing the same thing. And look at the bodies just hitting the floor. Dignitas, they've got no room to maneuver. Another round now on the board. This execute. I don't know if Kaboom are going to rotate quick enough. Well, they've got perfect place. That's going to be one. Steel gets the second as well. Forced down.
down in the flames, though. Easy <laughs> will manage to get that one, but Fallen rattling the shot through the smoke. Gonna get the support as well. Oh, face to face. <laughs> Kissing cheek to cheek there. Fur comes out on top. Don't mess with a Brazilian when you're dancing <laughs> through the smoke. ZQK, what have you got for us? Absolutely nothing. We need to see what grenade. Fur's gonna do. He should completely decimate this Dignitas side if they're not careful. Switches to the pistol. He's got two. Not gonna get the third as Dignitas respond with two in. Him up and look at that. Bolts has been held back and Fetish is in a oh. good position, but he must know it. The need. Oh, that's Fetish now down and out. Two Dignitas members making just one. Nico, he got the bomb down. Can he possibly keep this site safe? He's gonna just creep on through the smoke. Oh, he got Dink just in the <laughs> smoke there. It's unlucky for him, doesn't get the kill. Okay. Anyway, nonetheless, let's stick to our, let's stick to our spec mode because ZQK does land the shot. That's gonna open. Kiebu holding steady. Wow, ZQK puts one into their aim. He bolts, gets away with full HP. Doesn't do the same to Easy. He gets a double, gets a triple. Dignitas crumble. And 11 rounds now on the board for Kaboom. Right now. It worked so well for Kaboom. 11 1 up. Could it be 12 as Fur once again? Ted QK is not gonna give this one up easily. Takes down Pimp. Not gonna get a second though as Kiyabu shows us how it is. The Bolts is doing it again. This is his spot. Not quite gonna get the C triple he did before. It's actually another one. And now they have the crossfire, but Kiyabu's got this angle covered. He's gonna be walking straight into them crosshairs. Now they know where the last man is. He's to get in there. No. And it's all take right now, kaboom then. Holding this angle, it's like UK, or he's gonna get some crosshairs. That is Kiabu going down. Probably gonna beat his demise if he's not careful. He does Do they, such precision. Do they uh, think it was the fake? They must have, they rotated away from this one. They just left Steel all in his own. Steel though against Fetty, he's not gonna land the shot. Nico's grenade will come in, but suddenly. See, it's all onto Nico's shoulders now. It's not gonna happen. Such spray control. Bomb goes down. You know what to do? As he's gonna show us why he's getting that money. Great play onto Pimp. Fire hitting the floor as well. They're trying to slow down this assault and it works perfectly. Oh, a Dignitas again. <laughs> Kai Yabu. Oh, damn that name. <laughs> it's gonna try not what he does. He's telling me off and frag gets steel and backs away to keep as here comes the retake. And plant already down. AZ trying to come around. Does manage to find Fur. There's one more in Grill. They weren't expecting ZQK there. They do manage to get him down. But look at that. Ball is the rain of fire. Come on down as the Tech Nines move on in. Kiev yeah, not sure. Hot foot and steps around the side. Instead, the grenades will find them. Now they've got the bomb in. Steel holding around truck. That's going to be another round on the board for Kaboom. This is Actually going to get three as well. Three exit. Make that... Oh, not quite, not quite. It's as simply shriveling under the pressure. That tech swag seven. It's absolutely going to be their focus unless they do some random strat going through library. They're already onto site. It is AZ still in the pit though, keeping them busy. Instead, they're going to get a push round back at library as well. Kaboom suddenly. Now, Kaboom, they've got one to find. It's going to be Kievu. He's got body armor. And the pistol does actually find one. Suddenly, this is looking slightly possible as he picks up the kill. Not going to happen. Fallen picks it up. Domina o tapete que da Kabum, um round perigoso, domina o tapete do Fer, encontrou esse de costas, o Pimp não deu a cobertura para ele necessária, e aí o Pimp agora vai ficar sozinho no tapete contra o Chile, que atropelou esse jogador, entrou no quarto escuro, já sabe disso, o Fer, ele soltou o bala pra cima dele, já consegue mais uma visão, cai o terceiro jogador, três kills pro Fer nesse round, cai o Kager Bay, e olha, é, G, G, ou oh, não, pouco de volta aqui a chance do Team Dintas, mas a C4 já vai chegando no bom site, bem, enquanto o Bons encontrou o último kill da partida, Vence o jogo, equipe da Kabum, 16 a 3, sabe? Parabéns, Kabum. Um classificada para a ESL One, Katowice 2015. You were sent here partly by the, the Counter-Strike community, also ESCA, some of the Fnatic members helping out as well. Everyone trying to chip in a little bit. Um, I have to ask, did that add to the pressure here, just knowing that a lot of people had, uh, had really trusted you guys to make it through this qualifier? Yeah, it's something different. I can tell you that this is hard for us because you know it's not only us, not only us, us five. It's, a, it's the entire community. It's our country. Uh, I just want to thank every single person that helped together, mainly the Brazilians. This is for you guys. Was really, really strong in 1.6, and I know in the beginning Global Offensive you tried out the game a little bit, and then you went back to playing a little bit in a couple of other online games instead. What made you come back and really, like, really invest as much as you guys have into it? What made you think that that was worthwhile? Uh, in the beginning of CS:GO, I didn't like the game that much. I think the updates that came really made the uh, really uh, became made the game become really good. So nowadays, I think CS:GO it's awesome in every aspect. So in the beginning, it was kind of hard for us because we loved CS 1.6, and making the transitioning was a little hard. 
but now the CSGO community in Brazil is really growing. Uh, I hope we have more investment, like other organizations from League of Legends, Brazilian League of organizations, pick up some chains so we can hit more the scene. The scene. And I think, think the things are getting better. Yeah, I definitely hope so, because there's so many fans down there as well. I definitely know they're all going to be watching, even though the time zone difference is really big. Um, now, you are, as far as I know, going to stay here, try and stay in Poland. Is that still the plan? Because you said it was more expensive to go back home. So have you figured that out yet? Are you going to be staying around in, in Europe to practice and warm up? Or, or do you have to travel back? Do you know that yet? Yeah, the first plan, I mean, the miracle plan would be stay here if you get the spot. But it's kind of expensive. And if you make the, the counts, it's almost the same of going back to Brazil and coming back here because the, the flights are, are almost expensive. So I think our plan right now is to go back home for at least two weeks and then maybe set up, set up sponsors and stuff to get back here and be practicing for like 10 days or something. I think that's the plan right now. All right, so still a lot of practice to be to be put in, which is obviously going to be really, really helpful. I do want to know, do you have a sense of how much, how many up and coming teams are there in Brazil right now? Obviously you guys, but uh, do you think uh, that we could be seeing more Brazilian teams in the, in the international global offensive scene in the future? Yeah, I think with this kind of investment we have right now in Brazil, it's kind of difficult. I mean, sending us here is pretty difficult I and mean, we have all this help to get here. So sending the second team would be even harder. But we have like two other teams in Brazil that could compete with us. I mean, they are growing up too. So it would be really sick to have two Brazilian teams in international events. I'm hoping for that. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to it. That's going to be uh, a lot of fun if, if we can if we can make it there. Just get uh, the whole world involved, essentially. Um, any last shout outs you guys want to give anything to any fans or anything? Then uh, now's the time. Say thank you for everything, everybody who helped us to reach here. Uh, Kaboom, all the Brazilian fans, uh, international fans. I mean, a lot of people helped us, not only not Brazilians, even Flusha from Fnati, SEA, a lot of people. Thank you so much. This victory is for you guys too. Uh, I think our team deserves a lot what's happening right now because we dedicate ourselves too much. So, peace for my family, my girlfriend, and we see you guys in Major. E é isso, rapaziada. Espero que vocês tenham gostado. Só lembrando aqui no canal Cachorro 337, todos os dias, dois vídeos novos. Você curte um conteúdo de qualidade relacionado ao CSGO. Esse é o canal perfeito para você. Se inscreva, ative o sininho e passe aqui todos os dias às 14 e 19 horas para o primeiro vídeo. É isso aí, mano. Eu e o vou ficando por aqui. Até o próximo vídeo do canal Cachorro 337. Falou!